Hey guys, this is Drivers this one, and welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess. In the last part, we got to the Snow Peak Ruins, the most beautiful dungeon in my opinion. However, there's a much better dungeon that comes later on. It's a lot more beautiful. But in this part, we're going to be continuing on. We got um, Yetta to discover, or to, to uh, I guess, give us where the location of the key is, because apparently they have a piece of the sh shard. I keep saying that, the piece of the shard of the Mirror of Twilight. But, um, they have a piece of a mirror of twilight, apparently, and it's locked in their bedroom, and we have to figure out how to get to the bedroom. Don't touch me, dude! I don't want you to touch me, because if you touch me, you will die. Let's go ahead and take this ball to the cannon here. Oh, crap, they're gonna be bouncing all over the place! No, 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 no. Okay, you go away. If you get frozen, look how, look how much damage they do to me. I only got frozen like three times, and I already lost three hearts. They do one heart of damage every time. Alright, so, let's see. We want to... There is a, um... What's it called? A treasure chest bin back there, I believe. And we're supposed to light it up with our lantern, right? No. How do we... Um... I can't... Oh, here in a second. Cannon manual. Insert. Iron. Continue. Put in. Explosion. Launch. Alright, so let's go ahead and put in one of our bombs. That will uh, be the fuel, I suppose, for our cannon. Let's go ahead and launch the ball. Dang. Quite power right there. Quite the powerful shot. Please don't be a ruby prize. Oh, more bombs. Okay. Well... I guess that's nice, but again, we ran out of water bombs a couple episodes ago. Episodes ago, so let's um, forget that. Uh, do I want to? Yes, put it back in. Let's actually turn it this time. Turn it around, right there. All right. Let's go ahead and put another bomb in there and blow up. Bam, bam, bam! Nice. All right, cool. And we opened another door there that was previously blocked by the ice. I didn't realize that. Let's go ahead and go through this door and see what's in here. Oh, we're above this room here. And there's nothing below us, I don't believe. Looks like a giant cave. What could be in there, I wonder? Theorists? Any ideas? A mine, perhaps? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, we got to be really careful here because, um, well, keys are here, obviously. And we can actually push those guys. There we go. Uh, very helpful to use the claw shot here, just to push those guys off and uh, make way for these guys. Don't um, touch these ones that are uh, sort of whited out there because you will slide to the next area. I'll show you right here. There you go. And very careful. No, get that guy. There you go, Link. And just jump across. And again. And please don't be a ruby prize. I hate ruby prizes now. Seriously, I gotta, I gotta spend some money on stuff, man. Well, not in real life, because I've been doing a little bit too much spending. I'm kind of scared that I don't have enough to buy the Wii U come launch day, but well, we'll, we'll get to that later, because, I mean... Oh, great, we get the compass, okay. But, I mean, uh, I, not only did I pre-order the Wii U at uh, EB Games, uh, for you Americans out there, GameStop, I, uh... Go this way. I also pre-ordered the... That way. Okay. I also pre ordered uh, New Super Mario Bros. U as a launch title. I, I did want to pre order other games, but I, I felt like my, my bank account would have been a little bit too much, like, pushed a little down too much. Like, it would have taken a toll, and I didn't want to take away too much money from myself now that I'm not working as often as I am now, or as often as I was last year, because I am doing, uh, university courses and we can't be that guy up yet because he is a giant blizzard monster person we have to figure out where to ah small key small key small key duh get away from me oh my shield is my savior okay let's go ahead and unlock this door hey i thought we got a small key didn't we oh well i guess not did i did i forget a small key in the other room I don't think I... Did I? Oh man, no way. Okay, well. Let's go ahead and go back to this room. It looks like I forgot a small key. Dang it. Okay. 
Fine. I see where you're going with this, sir. Let's go ahead and grab. No, don't touch me. I hate you guys. Go away. Go away. Hold on a sec. I want to find. I want to see if this works. Can we hit them in the eye with it? No. I thought that would work. I thought their eyeball was like a really weak spot for the bow and arrow, but I guess not. There's a treasure chest over there. Let's go ahead and use this cannonball again. I don't know why there were cannonballs in this area. Was there a great war going on or something? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Oh, crap! I Let's turn it the right way. That, that way. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, I can only turn 90 degrees. Dang it. Hold on a second. Can I... Is Link strong enough to throw it while break the ice? Okay, no, never mind. Go away, jerk! Where is the small key at? I don't know. Okay, it looks like... Oh, I see! I'm, I'm doing this all wrong. There are cannonballs. Not in this area. Hold on. Is... What? Huh? Where? What? Hold on a second. Map! Is that a small key? Let's see. Oh, there's a small key right up here. I'm so dumb, I didn't, I didn't why, know why I didn't bother to check as well. Hey! Trying to dig here! Trying to dig here, jerks. Come on, don't be so rude. You think, you see me bothering you when you're digging up for bones and stuff? I didn't think so. Get back here, you pussy. There you go, okay. Now, where was I? I was digging. There's a treasure chest over here that should contain a small key. I'm supposed to dig it twice without getting interrupted by other wolves who are jealous of your digging skills. Did I, did I dig enough yet? Aha, here we go. Let's go ahead and open this treasure chest. And Link, open the treasure chest. Please be a, yes, thank you for the small key, Link. All right, now we can open up this door. I don't know why I didn't check here as Wolf Link yet, but I guess I was too lazy. There we go. It is open. And there are some cannonballs that we can uh, actually bring back to the other side. Let's bring back more than a few. Can we? Oh, well, we have to hit the switch first. Bring it down. There we go. And this is kind of a tedious little thing here, this uh, mechanism. Link, put the ball in the spoon! Link, put the ball in the... Link! My gosh. There you go. Put the ball in the spoon. And then what we have to do is, on the other side, pull the lever down to bring the ball onto the other side. Can we do this? Aha! There you are. And let's go ahead and take this beautiful cannonball. Place it inside the cannon. There we go. And set fire to the rain! Bombs away! Alright. What did we uncover? Please don't be a ruby prize again. Okay, more bombs. Thank you. Didn't really need all those. I have more than enough bombs, but uh, I'm, I'm more in need of bomb. Brain fart. I'm more in need of water bombs than anything else. Although, we're not going to be using water bombs in this dungeon whatsoever. So, uh, regular bombs will be just fine. And finally, we can use this cannon to destroy that snow blowing. Freakazoid with a billion eyes. And blow up your face! Haha! -ha. And apparently it was made out of a bunch of those dudes, which uh, again I hate with a passion. Don't touch me, please. I'm trying to turn into a human. I was gonna say werewolf, but I didn't mean that because Halloween is over. Way over. Uh, it'd be kind of cool if I did this dungeon around Christmas time, although winter is fast approaching. It's really cold. Um, those guys are really creepy. Uh, anyway, let's go into... Hey, I was gonna go into that room. Um, oh! What the heck, man? Uh-oh. Uh, that guy does not look friendly. Um... Uh, dude, dude, get away from me. I don't know you. I don't know you. Uh, 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 we can't get past him. We gotta, we gotta use the hook shot. We gotta use the claw shot. 
Alright, so this guy is the Dark Hammer, the mini boss of this dungeon. Alright, so Dark Hammer is, I guess he's a lizard guy, because he, his weak spot is his tail here. So, ow! Dark Hammer is one of the, ow! Toughest bosses, as you can see here, his uh, mace thing causes a lot of damage when he hits you. I'm almost dead, actually. This is uh, embarrassing. Um, Dark Hammer, one of the hardest bosses because of how much damage that thing causes. Oh, whole heart's worth of damage. Alright, so usually you want to keep the claw shot in case he gets too close to you here. Um, which is why you want to usually keep him around the middle area. Alright, let's go ahead and slash at his tail a couple more times. And there we go, Dark Hammer has been defeated already. Dang. What a jerk face. Trying to pretend to be a statue and all. Screw you. Die already. Thank you. Alright, so. Looks like Dark Hammer left something behind. Maybe we could use it to our advantage. Hmm? Let's go ahead and grab it. Grab it. Alright, so we got the ball and chain, which is really cool. The giant iron ball has incredible power. So we can actually use this now, which is really nice. And we use it much like Dark Hammer did, except for some reason it's a lot smaller when we were using it. Um, very, very powerful item. Can kill most enemies in one hit. Um, especially um, Rita Knights. This, this is the uh, item that I was talking about that you can uh, kill Rita Knights with really easily. Um, because when you throw it, it actually will cause it to throw it back. Usually, at least. So then you can have to hit it two times in a row, which is very helpful. And we're breaking a lot of stuff here. I feel very destructive with this giant ball and chain. And you can actually um, destroy the little ice dudes as well, just by swinging it around. If you hold the L button, you can actually move around. The Z button, of course, in the Wii version. And um, this technique is actually fairly used. Uh, very, very... Uh, uh, used a lot... Uh, that wasn't a proper sentence. Very, very well used um, when defeating those uh, hordes of icicle guys. Or on goat cheese! Oh my gosh. Ah, food again? Yeah, I had a bad feeling about this. She didn't seem very sure of herself. Oh well, let's head back and hope she had some other brilliant idea. She's giving us basically a shopping list for her husband's soup. My goodness. Stupid lady. Whatever. So, um, let's go ahead and go back to Yetta's house, or, well, this is entirely her house, I suppose. The, the room where she's by the fireplace, right? Makes sense? Okay, good. So, um, now that we have the ball and chain, we can actually use this to uh, break all the ice here and uh, make a shortcut. So we can actually use this uh, area here. This was originally walled off by the ice that I just broke, so we can now... Also defend ourselves from the stupid white wolfos. If they ever lunge at us again, where are you? Come on, come on, doggy, get the pup, get the dog, get the ball, get the ball. You get, you can do it, you can do it. Come on, come on, come on. You know you want it. Come on. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! I'm vulnerable. I'm vulnerable. Oh god! Come on. Come on, come on, come on, there you go. Okay, forget you guys, forget you guys, I'm out of here. Forget him, I don't want to deal with you jerks. Alright, <laughs> anyway, I don't know why I wasted so much time. Let's go ahead and block that. There you go, show an example of how these guys, how the ball and chain works really effectively on these guys. If I can walk a little bit closer without dying. There's one. See, somehow they start moving on their own. I don't know how that works. And there's two. Alright. Let's go ahead and go back this away. Because this is the area we want to get back to Yetta's uh, fireplace. Or Yetta's living room. I don't know where it is. They have no form of entertainment. I just realized there's, there's no way of keeping them entertained. It's so boring here. There's no form of television. Well, I guess television didn't exist then. Let's go ahead and talk to Yeto and give us give him the goat cheese that he wanted. Need more punch. Oh. Oh. He smells it again. What? Good smell. What do you have, huh? Dude, stop pushing me for the freaking food. Mmm, perfect ingredient, huh? And there we go. 
little more time on fire becomes gourmet soup, huh? Here, taste, huh? Oh. And, uh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and waste the fairy because I just want to show what the soup is like. I kind of did need the fairy, though, just to give me a little bit more health. Let's go ahead and grab some soup here. And we got the superb soup. We still need one more ingredient to make gourmet soup. Let's go ahead and drink it up, up a bit. Yum, yum, yum. And let's go back to Yetta's to see if she can finally give us the true location of the boss key. Enough of this food scrounging. I think I remember. Uh, we put key in nearby room, so no forgetting. Uh, how I forget. Embarrassing. See here. Place marked by symbol. Uh, that better be the real one. Getting tired of doing your grocery shopping. Alright, so she opened the final gate, uh, which will give us access to the rest of the dungeon. But I think we've done enough shopping for today, so I'm going to head head to buy and uh, heat up by the fire here. And I will see you guys in the next part. Hopefully that will be the real location of the uh, boss key. That area over there on the second floor. But we will find out in the next part. But for right now, this is Triforce Plus One. Staying cozy by the fire. And I'm signing off.